What's up? It's Marco, Sage Soccer, and today I want to talk about some of the young player performances out of the MLS this weekend. We had a couple of really good performances, and man, I'm really excited to get into it. Also, if you're wondering about the scarf, yeah, I ran in my union jacket this weekend. Didn't think things through, so <laughs> union scarf's the only thing I got. So let's just jump in right into it. Starting with the union, we had Paxton Aronson and Jack McGlynn come on to this game, and decent performances for both of them. Not the biggest impact over the weekend, but these two are some very talented prospects. Paxton, Paxton Aronson had a couple of really good moments, uh, getting the ball forward, turning, driving at defenses, and looking dangerous. I feel like he's somebody who will be very valuable for the Union moving forward this year. They don't have too many players who are really creative, only Gazdag and probably Bedoya, and Bedoya's getting up there. So I'm expecting uh, Aronson to get a lot more time moving forward for this league. Uh, then Jack McGlynn came on a uh, decent performance, couple of good passes, but didn't have the biggest impact. Like, it's understandable. It's the first game of the season. You really shouldn't be judging players too much on this game, but I did want to talk about it because a lot of debuts as well. But not the biggest game from Jack McGlynn, but I'm still excited about him moving forward. No appearances for Quinn Sullivan, who he's been touted as part of the big three with the, un with the Union young players, but I feel like it's unfair to Brandon Craig. I'd throw him in it. He's another talented prospect as well. Now, moving down to Miami, and we had a very good performance from Noah Allen, who made his debut and started for Inter-Miami, and he did not look out of place. Some very good attacking moments and still some decent 1v1 defending. Uh, he looked pretty poor in the air at first, but he got better as the game went on, grew into the game, and I didn't expect him to play much this year because he did not sign a homegrown contract. So what I was thinking was that Inter-Miami weren't that high on him, but that's clearly wrong, so... If he doesn't have a homegrown contract with them, it might be so he can bolt the second he turns 18 and go over to Europe. Either that or he wants to play in college or something, which, but, uh, I don't know, it's a very weird situation, but Noah Allen is definitely a good player to keep your eye on. Next, going up to New York and the New York Red Bull, we got four American players to talk about. First, John Tolkien, he started and he looked solid, very good defensively. Very good offensively, and he's got the athleticism to keep up in the league. He's definitely somebody to watch in a league, this league, and maybe for the national team moving forward. I mentioned Noah Allen, who's a very good left back, but left back is a pretty weak position. George Bellow, Sam Vines, they're okay, but as backups, they're, they leave a lot to be desired. A lot of times we just don't even call up a backup, a true left back, and even Anthony Robinson has... He's a very good player for us. He's had good moments, but I'm not completely sold on him, and he is still a cha only a championship player. So, you know, it's definitely a position to keep in mind. And John Tolkien, he's definitely staking a claim. Caden Clark came on as well. It's a bit of a surprise he didn't start, but he had a very nice pass, uh, an assist to ice the game. Uh, very good performance, and hopefully he gets a lot more starts and he can head to Leipzig and be some good form. So two debuts, Daniel Edelman and Serge Nagoma. Daniel Edelman's a pretty solid defensive midfielder. Uh, he's been looking decent for the U-20s, but with a guy we're going to talk about later, that defensive mid position may be kind of filled. But he's still a solid player. Really liking to see a bit more of him. And Sergin Goma also made his debut. He was one of the players that I really did not know about. He's only 16 and trained with the first team, so it's very good, but didn't get too much to judge off him from this game. But, you know, make your debut at 16. That's definitely something you got to watch for now. Now moving to Charlotte. And in their debut, they gave a couple of debuts to some young players. Not too many people to talk about. They all came on as subs. Chris Haggard, Adam Armour, and Ben Bender all made their debuts. Ben Bender, the number one pick. He looks pretty promising, but Chris Haggard, who is their homegrown, they traded for his homegrown rights, a uh, player out of Georgetown. And look up his story if you want to be inspired, because a great story there. And uh, he looks like he has the best chance to make a first-team impact. He looked pretty good off the bench. But uh, it remains to be seen. Now moving to Chicago and Gabriel Sonina, very good performance. Can't call it great because he didn't have too much to do, but whenever he was called on, very good. He made the saves needed. Also, I really want to give him credit because, in my opinion, this was his first competitive game. He only played in a basically dead rubber game. Chicago was already out of the playoff race at that point. And... I was a little bit worried about how he'd look in a real competitive setting, especially after not having the greatest Revelations Cup, but he proved me wrong. Very good performance and definitely looking forward to Gabriel Sonina. And Brian Gutierrez also came on. Really looking forward to see him getting a lot of playing time this year. Hopefully he can learn some, some things from Shakiri. He's got some very good technique, but 
for this game in particular, very little time to make an impact. Now on to DC United, and one of the top prospects in the MLS, Moses Nyman, was playing today. He had a decent game. Again, first game of the season. Can't judge it too much. But uh, not, not the greatest, but definitely somebody to keep an eye on. Really good technically. Might be a guy in that backup six role. He's pretty small, so it remains to be seen what his best position will end up being. I'm really looking forward to seeing him. Like A lot of people I'm really looking forward to, but this guy in the U20 team, I really want to see how he can do. Hopefully he'll be in that eight position. It could be very strong for us. Griffin Yao also got a start. He's another guy who's eligible for the U20 team. He's never been a guy I've been too particularly high on. Maybe that's just because Kevin Parody's Moses Nyman, he kind of got lost in the shuffle, but he looked lively, pretty good technically, but uh, maybe even be able to, wait, to force his way into the U20 team. I mean, starting in the MLS, that's very good, but something to keep an eye on, I guess. For Atlanta United, we had a lot of good players. George Campbell, he's a homegrown player out of Atlanta, solid performance, and he looks good alongside Miles Robinson. They literally have the same physical traits. Like, I think they're both 6'2", 183. And you got to assume Campbell's going to be adding some muscle as his career goes on. The difference is Campbell is good on the ball. Very talented on the ball. I'm hoping that will translate to a European level because I feel like he's got the ability to get there. I mean, he's obviously not as good as Miles right now. Just Miles is amazing defensively. But... George Campbell is someone to keep an eye on and a very good center back prospect. And there are also two young players who play on the left wing. Tyler Wolf had a decent performance as a starter, but it might have been overshadowed by young Caleb Wiley coming on. He played as a winger instead of a left back, and he scored a goal. And Caleb Wiley is somebody, man, we've got a lot of left backs now, which was a big problem for this team before, because the USA, they couldn't produce left-footed players. <laughs> but, uh... Like, John Brooks, Anthony Robinson, all produced outside. So, interesting. But, uh, Caleb Wiley, I'm really looking forward to seeing how good he can be this year. And, man, that U20 team has too many good left backs between Kevin Paradis, Jonathan Gomez, Noah Allen, Caleb Wiley. Like, I hope Wiley will have a good impact with Landon this year. Maybe he'll even be able to fill in for George Bellow as he left. Now moving on to Seattle, and we might have the top MLS prospect right here. Obed Vargas continues to make an impact for Seattle at 16. I was not expecting this guy to play much this year. Um, honestly, when he was called into the U20 camp, that was a bit of a surprise to me. I mean, I knew about, oh, Seattle's got this dude from Alaska who was playing, and like I knew that he was good, but I didn't know he was this good. Good close control and advancing the ball very well. Like, very well. Like, not even, oh, good for his age. No, he's doing well. Good physically, and he should be strong enough to play the six. Could be somebody the national team looks at in the long term. Another guy who makes me really excited to watch this U20 team. And very good performance. Daniel Leva, he also came on today. He, but between Vargas and even Reed Baker waiting, he's, his spot might be in jeopardy both in the U20 team and with Seattle. Remains to be seen, but Obed Vargas is looking very good. Next for NYCFC. Tavon Gray continued to start for New York City FC, but he didn't have the best performance. And Andreas Johnson, who made his debut and came on and played out of position at right back, may have looked better than Gray. I don't really like comparing these young players like like I was doing with Fargus and Leva because I want all of them to succeed. But just saying that Johnson looked pretty good today. Next, we have Cade Coel and San Jose. He played left wing back today and or today earlier, and he looked out of position. <laughs> He's still a great player. You love his physical attributes. You love his eye for goal. But he could turn into a victim of his own versatility. And San Jose really need to put him in the position to succeed. Like, because this is a guy who could be really talented. And San Jose needs to figure it out. Next, uh, Kip Keller made his debut starting for Austin. He's a Generation Adidas draft pick. And he looked very good for them. Granted, against FC Cincinnati, so you can't take too much shock into it. But still, starting in the MLS, right as a draft pick, that's nothing to sneeze at. And again, pretty solid performance. Kip Keller was definitely the center back I was most excited about coming out, out of the draft. And it was a pretty good draft class for center back, so somebody to keep an eye on. Uh, for Cincinnati, uh, Harrison Robeldo and draft pick Nick Marinkic made their debuts, but it, it's Cincy. You can't really get too excited about him. I mean, I honestly didn't even rate Nick higher than his brother, and he's starting, but... Uh, is what it is. 
And lastly, and probably maybe the biggest thing, Aiden Morris made his long way to return from injury with Columbus. Really excited to see, to see him moving forward. He's a guy who has the potential to be a backup six by the World Cup. And Aiden Morris, very good player, solid defensively, good with his passing. Really want to see how he could, can be for Columbus. Definitely a good prospect moving forward. And yeah, that's it for young players in the MLS I want to talk about. On the American side, uh, decent Canadian performances. Marshall Ruddy looked pretty good for Toronto. He's somebody I'm pretty excited about. But uh, just for Americans, that's it. Uh, man, we didn't even get everybody. Quinn Sullivan, somebody who could uh, impact the game a bit. Uh, man, I'm looking forward to Isaiah Parker for FC Dallas. Like, oh, I didn't even mention FC Dallas players because I don't really consider Pomacal a prospect anymore. But, man, a lot of good players. Really excited about this season. Hopefully a lot of these guys can go on, make the move to Europe, and be really exciting because there's some talent here. And yeah, that's all we have to talk about today. See you.